Tonight, GOP candidates taking the stage and taking on each other in hopes of winning the Michigan primary election. Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us here at 11. I'm Dave Llewellyn. We are just two weeks away from the August 2nd primary, and whoever comes out on top will face Governor Gretchen Whitmer, the incumbent. The five candidates squared off at Oakland University, the debate hosted by Scripps and WXYZ. Seven Action News reporter Brett Cast joining us now with the key issues and reaction from the candidates. Brett. Well, a lot of voters seem to be undecided right now. According to the Secretary of State, 1.1 million absentee ballots have been mailed out for this primary, but about a third of those have been turned in. And tonight, the candidates got their last chance for a televised audience to make their cases heard. The last televised debate hosted by WXYZ and Scripps got underway inside Oakland University, quickly touching base on hotbed issues like critical race theory and diversity, equity and inclusion in schools. We will sign an executive directive to terminate all of the DEI positions in all of our state schools. And that is why as Michigan's next governor, we will be banning CRT. We will be banning sexual and gender theory. And also what we're going to throw on top of that is banning diversity, equity and inclusion training. Gun violence also became a key issue with every candidate advocating that Michigan become a constitutional carry state, which means legal gun owners no longer need a permit to conceal carry. Is that something that you think could actually pass here in Michigan? I think it can. Uh, you know, our Second Amendment states that it, uh, we shall not infringe. It doesn't mean that everyone has a gun on their hip. It supports our Constitution. The debate also touched on abortion. All candidates say they're pro-life and want to make it easier for couples to adopt. After the debate, we followed up about whether that includes same-sex couples. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Um, I'm not for that, no. Yeah, I think that we should have everybody allowed to adopt babies. Currently, same-sex couples can adopt children. And again, that's a legislative issue. I can't answer that right now. I, I don't know the answer. I, I need to see how kids grow up uh, in those homes and whether it's actually good for them. The fact of the matter is the DeVos family owned you. You're our version of Gretchen Whitmer. Towards the end, there were also some heated moments with multiple candidates calling out Tudor Dixon for not being at protest, calling her the establishment candidate. They seem to be a little nervous, don't they? I guess they're just trying to figure out something to say about me. How can I be the establishment candidate? I've never run for office before. The last unanswered question, who will get the endorsement from former President Donald Trump? According to polls, many voters say that would impact their decision. And this week, Garrett Soldano posted on Facebook asking the president to wait until after the primary. So many times, especially with politics, you get a lot of people that want to put their thumb on the scale. And I really, truly believe you let the people decide. Now, the last scheduled debate will be held next Wednesday. That's also in Oakland County, hosted by WJR, and that'll be broadcast on the radio. In Rochester, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. The Michigan Democratic Party responding to tonight's debate with a strong statement. Chair Lavora Barnes says in part, quote, anybody looking for a governor during tonight's GOP debate only found a continued clown show just hours after Governor Whitmer signed her fourth bipartisan balanced budget with historic investments in education. Kevin Rinke, Tudor Dixon, Ryan Kelly, Garrett Saldano, and Ralph Rebant made clear they are fixated on dragging Michigan backwards. You can watch the full Republican gubernatorial debate if you missed it live on our streaming platforms and also our website, WXYZ.com. You'll also find more information on the five candidates and their message to Michigan voters right there.